Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Tech. In this short video, I'll show you guys how you can enable or block the cookies on your Google Chrome browser. We'll see what is the difference between these two options. But first of all, let's find the settings on Google Chrome browser. So first of all, you have to open your Google Chrome browser. And once you are here, you need to go at these three dots here and you click over it. Now it will show all these options, but the option that we are interested in is settings. So we click over settings. Now it will pop up those options on the left, but we'll click over privacy and security. And here we are. Now we click over cookies and other site data. We click over here. And now we have those possibilities. One of them is to allow all cookies and in this way, sites can use cookies to improve your browsing experience, for example, to keep you signed in or to remember items in your shopping basket. Sites can use cookies to see your browsing activity across different sites, for example, to personalize ads. By clicking over this, you are allowing all the cookies. Then we have this possibility, which is block third party cookies. Sites can use cookies to improve your browsing experience, for example, to keep your sign in, etc., etc. But those sites cannot use your cookies to see your browsing activity across different sites. Those features cannot work on some sites. And actually, when I blocked third party cookies, I was not able to open Outlook on the web. So that's why I had to allow all cookies. So I'm able to log in to different websites and those websites will remember the passwords that I have entered on them. Then we have the last option, which is block all cookies, which according to Google Chrome, this is not recommended because sites cannot use cookies to improve your browsing experience. Sites cannot use cookies to see your browsing activity and features on many sites may not work. What you can do is that you can block all cookies if you want. And then over here, you can add some of the sites that you will give this kind of permissions. For example, here I have added Teams, I have added Outlook and Outlook.com and those sites has the right or the permissions to use cookies. So in order to give them this permission, we click over Add and here you define the site which you want to use cookies. For example, I will just write Microsoft.com and then I'll click Including third-party cookies on this site and then I press Add and here we are, my Microsoft.com is on the list of the websites that can use cookies. Personally, I choose allow all cookies because I am able to open any website and the passwords or whatever I use are saved there. This is not the best in case that you are worried maybe for the privacy of your data, etc., etc. The middle choice would be block third-party cookies in this case and if you are really very worried about the privacy and the security then you can choose block all cookies so basically those are the options regarding cookies on google chrome you can allow the cookies or you can block all cookies or you choose the middle one block third party cookies another very interesting option is this one here which says clear cookies and site data when you close all windows you can turn this on and this is active when you allow all cookies so then all your cookies and site data will go away once you close your google chrome i think that this is a good option in case that you don't want your cookies to be saved on your Google Chrome browser. So you just allow all cookies and then you choose this option, clear cookies and site data, and those data will be cleared from your Google Chrome browser. That's all that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you like this video and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.